Hello friends, this is Jake. It just occurred to me that perhaps there's no more auspicious time for the coronavirus to be around us than during this time of Lent. Um, people are so afraid of what's going on, but I'd like to caution you about letting fear get the better of you. I'd like to think that during this crisis that comes to us at this very uh, period of Lent, um, God is sending us a message here as to perhaps the uh, real importance of our lives. People fear the consequences of the coronavirus. People fear that they might get sick and even die. And perhaps there's a good reason to be to be uh, afraid of things, but um, you know, I, I'd like to uh, put this thing in, in perspective that perhaps rather than being fearful of this virus and reacting in a very um, uh, panicky way, I'd like to encourage everybody to perhaps look at this with the eyes of faith and realize that God is sending this kind of a uh, crisis at the very middle of Lent, a time where in which we Christians and Catholics particularly uh, spend about 40 days within a year to try to examine our lives, put our lives into a proper perspective, and, uh, and understand that God is in control of our lives. Uh, just think about this. I mean, <laughs> a few months ago, we never heard of this coronavirus, and all of a sudden, we have it around us, right? Uh, where did this even come from? How in the world did this kind of thing even develop? The scientists, I don't think so, as of uh, this time, uh, uh, really understand where, uh, where it originated from and how it developed and how fast it is spreading and how it is affecting people. To me, I, I look at these kinds of things with the perspective or from the perspective of faith. God must be sending us a message. God must be telling us something about the state and situation of our world and that perhaps it is a good time for us to examine ourselves and examine our priorities and examine whether we really make God take control of our lives. You know that fear that plenty of people are feeling? To me, it's a sign of a lack of faith. To me, it is a sign that they think that they can control everything that happens in their lives and, and they're more afraid actually of something that they could not control. You see, because it's something they don't understand completely. It's something that they, they, uh, they couldn't wrap their, their heads around. So the reaction is fear. Well, I, I, <laughs> I'd like to encourage you to react rather in a prayerful way in a faithful way and this is the right way to react every time there is something so uncertain in our lives let us pray let us ask god to give us the strength and the wisdom to understand what is in it for us rather than react with fear and and um, uncertainty and insecurity and all of a sudden we do all sorts of things that we would not normally do in the course of our daily lives because we are uh, too frightful and afraid of the consequences uh, of something that we don't even understand. Let's put this thing in perspective. Um, I think people are afraid to contract the virus and the disease because it's deadly. I mean, it can kill, right? Uh, but tell me, what else is out there that cannot kill you instantly? I mean, you go, get out of your garage and you can instantly get into an accident and you die, right? Even, even if you are the best driver in the world, 
you can get out uh, walking in the streets of downtown and uh, get mugged and, and stabbed and killed. Uh, I mean, uh, so why are we so afraid of the coronavirus all of a sudden? To me, this is an indication of a lack of faith, a lack of surrender of our lives to God, who is and should be in control of what's going on. So let's be prudent, like we have to protect ourselves in the same manner that we protect ourselves from uh, crazy drivers, that we, uh, we, we try to be careful about people we interact with every day. We protect ourselves. We're prudent. We, we, become, we, we be prudent about how we protect ourselves. But you don't go, go out walking in the street um, wrapped up in fear all day, are you? Do you? So why do we react this way with the coronavirus? Where is our faith? Where is our faith? I dare ask, where is our faith? And if we really have faith, folks, we shouldn't be afraid. We shouldn't be closing churches. We shouldn't start banning masses. We shouldn't prevent people from praying at church. In fact, the opposite should be the reaction. The more we are in a state of crisis like this, the more masses we should have, the more prayer we should do, the more rosaries we should recite, and the more we go to Joseph. You know, these days, folks, it's not only Lent. It is also, we're also right smack in the middle of the Novena days, uh, second day of the Novena, in fact, to St. Joseph, whose feast day is on March 19th. St. Joseph is the protector of Jesus, the protector of the Holy Family, the, the patron of families, the patron of many other things. Let's go to Joseph. Ite ad Yosef. Go to Joseph and ask him for his protection. Ask him to keep us safe at all times, not only now. At all times, keep our families safe. I have such a big devotion to St. Joseph that I have a big statue right here in my own home of St. Joseph. And we can go to Joseph, pray and ask Joseph to help us in our every need. And let us not be afraid. Let's surrender things to God. Let's do what we can do to protect ourselves. But fear is always the wrong reaction. Let us be faithful, not fearful. Let's be prudent and not political, right? People are now uh, 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 talking plenty of political nonsense and accusing governments and presidents of not reacting properly or, or health departments or, or I don't know what have you for uh, 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 reacting to something that is so brand new and nobody ever really knows how to react to them. Right? This is not the flu that you get every year. This is a brand new crisis. So why are we going around pointing fingers at presidents or, or, or uh, health department uh, secretaries or, or whoever it is, uh, governors? Or I mean, this is just foolish. Because we can go around pointing fingers at everybody. It's not going to solve the problem. Right? What I think will solve the problem is that you protect yourself, be prudent, and pray. Pray, pray, ask God to take over this crisis that nobody ever knew where it came from and where it's going, when it will end. Ask God to intervene in something that you and I, all of us, can really have very little control of. Let God be God and let him do the work. Okay, and let's not start going around so fearful about the consequences of this virus. Nobody wants to get it. Nobody wants to get sick in any way. But, you know, if, if in the most unfortunate of circumstances, I get this and I get sick of it, after already putting all the measures of prudence and protecting myself and my family, you know what? I'll take that to mean that God is giving me a portion of his cross especially this time of Lent, that I may bear his cross and that maybe with a little bit of suffering that this sickness might bring to me, I might participate in his salvific mission. I will offer it for my own, as a personal penance for my own sins, 
and also for others who might benefit from the prayer I might offer as a consequence of suffering from this sickness. But of course, I pray I don't get it. But if God deigns for my own good that I get it, I will react with faith. I will react maybe with gratitude because I'm being asked by God to offer up something for my sake, for my good, and for the good of others. And that is the way I would encourage everybody to, to react to this uh, 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 unprecedented kind of crisis that many countries in the world are now experiencing and which is very close to home for many of us, including mine. They're just right around here in, 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 our, in our county now and even in our own city in Modesto. Some cases have been discovered. But let's, let's react correctly. Let's react properly. Not in fear, but in faith. With prudence. With prudence. Let's protect ourselves. In much the same way you protect yourself from the common flu. You should be doing the same thing, right? But why aren't we so afraid every time winter comes and the flu season is upon us? Why, why don't we react with this kind of fear that we're reacting with now with the coronavirus? See, so it doesn't stand to reason that we should react this way. But understandably, the great unknown that the coronavirus is at the moment is what could be causing that fear. But I would encourage you to react with faith and not with fear. Let us pray. Let us pray. 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 Pray to St. Joseph. Ite ad Yosef. Ask St. Joseph to intercede for the world, to intercede uh, that this virus disappears sooner than later. And ask Our Lady. Pray the Rosary. Ask Our Lady. Let us use our heavenly weapons, our heavenly friends to help us uh, to, to overcome whatever fears we might have about what this virus can bring about to ourselves and to the world around us. Okay? Have a good day. Bye.